All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. So only one month is left for your new 2024, okay? And at this point of time, everybody is looking for, sir, I need those chapters which are easy, high scoring so that I can score maximum when it comes to the physics, chemistry, and biology. In this particular video, I'll be telling you the chapters or the topics, okay? More specifically, what are the topics that you need to study in this one month so that you can at least get 130 plus in your physics, okay? Because I believe that maximum number of students have are already done with the biology, okay? And already done with the chemistry also. But somehow they ask, sir, in physics we lag and tell us only those high scoring topics, those easy topics which can get us 130 plus in just one month, okay? So I'll be telling you only five to six chapters, only five to six topics I'll be giving you over here. If you focus on these, okay, you'll definitely get 130 plus because I have the proof in front of me. That is how many questions were asked in NEET 2021 from these chapters? How many questions were asked in NEET 2022 from these chapters in NEET 2023? Okay, so make sure you like this video and stick to this video till the end. Listen to me very carefully. The first chapter that we need to talk about over here is we say, sir, electrostatics. So we need to talk about electrostatics. So, okay. So in 2021, we say six questions were asked from the electrostatics chapter, okay? It is, ha this is having the huge weightage, okay? And this is very easy, easy scoring, easy scoring chapter. In 2022, we say four questions were asked and 2023, we say five questions were asked. So this year, you can also expect five to six questions will be asked from the electrostatics chapter, okay? And when it comes to the current, you say in 2021, three questions were asked. In 2022, three questions were asked and last year we say five questions were asked from the current. Similarly, when it comes to the units and dimensions, most scoring chapter, okay, we say three questions in 2021, three questions in 2022 and two questions in 2023. Similarly, you can see for the kinematics, okay, highest weighted chapter, you can see over here, five questions were asked from this. And then we say modern physics plus semiconductors. You can see the number of questions. We say nine questions in total. I say modern physics plus semiconductors. We say nine questions were asked uh, in 2021, nine questions in 2022, and eight questions in 2023. This year, we are expecting nine to 10 questions from this portion also, okay? And, and optional, I have basically added over here. That, that is, that is, uh, we say ray optics. I have added this chapter, ray optics. If you get the time after uh, basically uh, studying all these chapters, I would recommend you to go with the ray optics also, okay? Because you can expect four to five questions this year also from the ray optics portion, okay? So this is basically the analysis. Now, the number of questions which you can get in these chapters, if you multiply with the four, and it will come out to be approximately 130 plus. By studying these five to six chapters only in your complete physics, you can get 130 plus in your physics, that's for sure. Now the point is, sir, what are the topics which we need to basically learn in this particular, in these particular chapters? Let's talk about the units and dimensions first. We say you will have to focus on the dimensional analysis, okay, dimensional formula for a different, different, uh, we say quantities over here, so that you need to understand. And then we say errors and significant figures, very easy, it will take you hardly 30 minutes to understand. And then we say measuring device like vernier caliber, secure gauge, okay? Then, 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 we have kinematics. In case of kinematics, we say you have to focus on the equations of motion, okay, because maximum number of questions come from the equations of motion uh, portion only, okay. And, and we say over here motion under gravity, there are so many questions which have been asked from the motion under gravity portion, like if we release a ball, okay, from certain height, in, in fifth second, how much distance it will cover, okay, in fourth second, how much distance it will cover, okay, I have... I have taught every single thing in my marathons. You can watch that marathon on this particular channel and you'll get to see every question pattern which I have covered in those. And most importantly, graphs like position time graph, velocity time graph, and acceleration time graph. And most importantly in graphs, you'll have to focus on the graph conversion. Make the velocity time graph from acceleration time graph, some, some, uh, something like that, okay? And then if we come on to the electrostatics, we say in case of electrostatics, you'll have to focus on Coulomb's law, okay? The force and field, what are the questions which can be asked from this one? Like you have the two charges which are attached to a thread. What is the uh, equilibrium distance between them? Like that. And, and electrostatic potential and potential energy. Questions can be asked from this one. And there is one important formula in which questions come from every single year. That is 
work done is equal to change in potential energy. You can expect a question from that also. And then we say dipole and Gauss law. Very important, Gauss law over here. And then if we come on to the current electricity, in case of current electricity, you will have to focus on the voltmeter ammeter. Okay, like the conversion of galvanometer into voltmeter, conversion of galvanometer into ammeter. So over here, how to find the shunt resistance, maximum questions were asked in case of that only. Okay, and, and over here, we say resistance, current and drift velocity, this one. And then we say common potential. This is very important by th this method. That is common potential method. Sir, where can we get all of these topics? Watch our marathons which are running on an academy right now on this particular channel which we are taking. So you can you can definitely basically watch those. Okay. Then, then my dear friends, we say ray optics. In case of ray optics, what is more important? We say lens and combination like cutting off lenses, combination of different lenses different lenses and find their you know, equivalent focal length, find their net power and, and we say microscope, telescope and a resolution of instruments and you can you can basically, you have to learn all of these topics, definitely you'll score. And when it comes to the, we say uh, uh, this modern physics, Bohr's model, de Broglie wavelength, de Broglie wavelength comes in the, uh, we say this chapter, dual nature of matter and radiation, Bohr's model, okay. And in this Bohr's model, you have to see velocity of an electron in nth orbit, radius of an electron in nth orbit, potential energy, kinetic energy, we say uh, total energy, okay, and the graph, that is also important. And then we say Einstein's photoelectric equation, very important, and binding energy mass defect. I have seen, shown you tons and tons of questions, and, and my marathon will be on 4th April, and I will be showing you all of these, we say, topics over there in that particular marathon. We say graph between mass number and stability, okay, Q value of the reaction, Q value of the reaction and, and we say semiconductors over here, PN junction diode and logic gates, these are the important topics that you have to exactly go with in this particular case, okay. Now my dear friends, on, I just want to tell you something which is very important. If you go on to the Unacademy, Unacademy's uh, this particular channel, let me just show you over here, let me just show you over here, let me just show you over here, if I open the YouTube, okay, go on to our particular channel, that's Unacademy Neat English, Unacademy Neat English, okay, and if you click on to this channel, over here, over here, you see, this is the mega marathon that I will be taking on 4th, that I'll be taking on we say, we say 4th of April. This mega marathon I will be taking on 4th of April. And I want you guys to join this particular marathon. This is the second part. First part is already done. Whatever the topics I have told you, all those topics are covered, okay? Now, the remaining topics I will be covering in this particular marathon, that is going to happen on 4th of April. I want you guys to join this particular marathon. Do not miss out this particular marathon at any cost, okay? Every single topic which I have told you over here, like like all of these topics in the, uh, we say, modern physics or even in the semiconductors or in the ray optics, every single topic I'll be discussing in this particular marathon. Okay, okay. And, and my dear friends, my dear friends, let me tell you something which is very important. There is an big event which is coming up. Unacademy is coming up with this particular event every single year. This year also it is coming. That is RM 2024. Okay. The biggest spotlight for IIT, JE and NEET, NEET UG students. Okay. Now I want you guys to basically, you can join this particular event. Link is in the description below. It will be live on YouTube also. So link is in the description below. There are so many prizes that are for you in this particular event that will be given to you in this particular event, okay? And you can participate in this particular event and it is completely free of cost. The date is, we say, 7th April. And we say, we say, we say, uh, the time is 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., okay? So you can join it. Link is in the description below. So thank you so much. This was all about it. Take care and bye-bye.